the hope that will be a source of joy and inspiration to all the world. everyone and fellow dreamers welcome to my channel Lauren's Floating Lights. In today's vlog I'm going to give you a detailed tour of the new Disney housing. I'm living at Flamingo Crossings West so I'm going to give you a tour of the whole complex starting at the front so I'll meet you over there. This is the front of Flamingo Crossings West. You can hear the buses loud and proud. We have visitor parking just behind me and this is the Flamingo Crossings buildings. They are absolutely stunning if you've ever lived at disney housing in the past this is a massive glow up the first thing you'll see when you enter as a cast member or a guest of a cast member is this grand community center over here we have the disney program advisors in here plenty of cool things that i'm going to show you right now and then we have the buildings across here which are very very large <laughs> as you enter the community center this is what you'll see I absolutely love the space in here. It's very freeing, very chill. There are plenty of places to sit. There are rooms that you can rent out to do your work if you're a college program cast member or you can just chill in there, FaceTime your family and whatnot. They have MacBooks as well. And we have more rooms, that's a cocoa room. We've got a foosball table, arcade games. That's one of my favorite walls. We have pool. Me and my boyfriend played pool the other day. We rented some queues, which was very cute. And yeah, there's just so much space in here. You can basically hire out the TVs, etc., and put on whatever you want, as long as it's Disney approved. And yeah, there's just so many spaces to chill out. This is the package room. So if you have anything that won't fit in your mailbox, it will come to one of these lockers and it just goes on for rows and rows and rows. It's huge in here. Very, very cool. Some of the lockers are really big as well. This is another perspective of the space that I just showed you. And we have the surface window over there so you can rent out things such as like dust pans, ping pong equipment, anything you want, you can get it at the service window. This is a very popular place at Flamingo Crossings Village. This is the vending machine smart market you basically put your card into one of these little holders and you scan your card and the basket follows you along the vending machines so you can choose something from this fridge and then move to this fridge and this fridge and your total will come up on here and you'll be able to pay for it it's absolutely amazing and is great for cast members on the move if we are going to stick to the community center I'm gonna take you upstairs, it's insane. I also want to say that Flamingo is very accessible and it also has all gender bathrooms as well as elevator in the buildings and the community center too. So as we're heading up the stairs here in the community center, we have this massive reel of movies, which is so cool. And it just adds that extra bit of magic to the house, the house, the building. <laughs> Can you hear the Disney music in the background? I'm gonna try and talk over it so I don't get copyrighted. However, this is one of my favorite places in the whole of the Disney housing complex, which is the fitness center. It's so cool. But firstly, I wanna show you this perspective here. They've got something on the TV there. I'm pretty sure it's Harry Potter. But look at this outside. Can you even believe that this is real? It's amazing. I can't believe I live here, to be honest. It's well worth the price, I think. It's like $200 plus per week, but you get all of this included. It's amazing. So here's the fitness center. The fitness center is free. Well, it's included with your Disney housing, so you pay for it, but you can use any of this equipment. As a gym person, I am so, so happy that this is included because you'd have to pay for a gym membership somewhere else anyway. Look at all the treadmills overlooking the pool. It's stunning and it goes on for miles. There are people working out and I don't want to film them, of course. So I'm just showing you the stuff over here. And yeah, there's plenty of equipment for everyone. We also have a cool free weight section over here. It's going to be funny trying to convert from kg to lbs, but I'm going to have to do it. And then the part that I'm most excited about is the deadlift platforms look at this we never had this at the gym at home so it's very very cool 
they even have TVs here. But yeah, we did have deadlift platforms at home, but they weren't as cool as this, to be honest. And I love the little touches of Disney magic everywhere. It's amazing. And yeah, there's just so much. And I'm not gonna show you inside the studio because people are in there, but there is a private studio that you can use as well. And there's more equipment in there too. Picture this, I've just stepped out onto the terrace from the gym and this is your view. You have to walk through the gym to get to this, but it's so worth it. Look at all of this amazing space where you can chill out. And apparently this is good to watch the fireworks from. And yeah, it's just incredible. They really went all out and I'm, I'm so happy to be living here. Look at this, little rocking chairs. I was sat there the other day. I can't get over this. I live here, guys. It's crazy. This is from the terrace. So if you look over, we have pool one. It has a cinema screen and we have pool two with a cinema screen, both with hot tubs. We have changing rooms in the middle and showers in case you don't want to wander back to your apartment. Mine's literally around the corner over there. We have the fire pit down below, seating, the volleyball court and the basketball court over there. And they're building more over there. So I think it's more housing. But to my left is Swamp. So you can imagine how much money Disney have spent to create this housing for us. I haven't been in the pool yet, but I'm so excited to do so. And if I continue walking down here, it's gonna take me back into the gym. And we have more seating, of course, because there is not enough places to sit. They play a lot of musicals in this gym and it's the best gym I've ever been in in my life. Love these mats as well. It's so true. But this is what it looks like when you exit the community center. Look at all this cool seating. There's just so many seats everywhere. So after a long hard day at work, you can come and chill and read or you can play some games with your friends or you can just get away from anything that has been on your mind and you can chill out here. It's so cool. Not to mention the fact that this is a massive fire pit. I'm yet to use it or to see anyone using it. However, there is tons of cool things to do here, including that. And then look at these little quotes that are just everywhere. This one I love because it is created by the shadow on the wall. So it says motivated by magic. And it's actually because of the shelving that is on the wall and it actually says motivated by magic. In the middle is the change rooms that I showed you before but from the lower level and that's the terrace that I was on. And up there is the gym with the community center over here. Well, all of it's the community center, but wow, I'm obsessed. It's amazing. It's absolutely unreal. And I feel like on this program, there's a lot more freedom. There's just so much to do. There are really helpful directions wherever you go, there will always be a sign. So hopefully you won't get lost if you come to this housing. I love these little Mickey chairs we have over here, but here is the great lawn with again, more seating, perfect for reading. Over there we have the volleyball court and basketball court. And yeah, the buildings just go on for miles. Well, it seems like miles anyway. Here is another perspective of the pools and the community center. But over here, I wanted to show you, they actually have grills for us to use. And by the grills, we have more seating. But look, they are like brand spanking new. And there's grill policies, so you can use them, I think, without supervision of a program advisor. But wow, it's just amazing. And as we walk back to my apartment, this is what it looks like when you're trying to find where you live. There are plenty of different characters as well. For the buildings, we have hops over here for Judy Hops, which is so cute. And I kind of wish I was in that one. However, I am in Iago from Aladdin. I will show you my lanyard now. And we have Jiminy over here. So here I am building 38 Iago. I'm not going to tell you what floor, or what apartment I'm in for my own health and safety, but I will show you how to get up there. We do have a mail room for our building. I'm pretty sure that's in every single building. But this is for mail that doesn't need to go into the package room that I showed you earlier. Look at this courtyard, it's so beautiful. It's very quiet and it's so peaceful. Look at these cute little things that people have done to customize their apartment. I've seen a lot of Christmas wreaths 
and I just love that and people are really making it their home. This is the other side of the courtyard as I walk towards the elevator and again super accessible for cast members that need to use the lift and yeah I just love it. Welcome to my Flamingo Crossings apartment. I'm not going to show you the apartment number for my health and safety, as I said, but let's go in. I will show you how it works. So I hold my key card, then I open the door and we go in. And this is my apartment. So this is a four person, two by four apartment. You get your own kitchen with an oven, microwave, you've got hobs there, dishwasher, an island in your kitchen. You get a fridge with a freezer. I have some cute magnets on there. This is my cupboard. And you get all this space up here, as well as plenty of space for your washing. Because in these apartments, you get your own washer and dryer as well. We have our trash there. And this is a sofa in the corner. We have a corner apartment, so it's really nice for light. I love it. We have a fan up here, smart TV, and yeah, just so much room for everything. We have AC, we also have a fan and lighting as well. I have two roommates that live over there. They have a shared bathroom own bedroom. And then in here is my shared bathroom own bedroom. And this is what it looks like once you step into the shared bathroom. Hello, I probably sound more awake now as I've just had to go to a five hour class. But now I'm continuing to film. So on the right, we have my side, which has big cupboards. I've got my own sink, my own little cabinet drawer as well. And I have plug sockets. And then on the left is the exact same, but it is for my new roommate who will be moving in on Monday. So I don't know who is going to be in this bedroom yet. However, I have this side over here. Honestly, this video does not do justice how big the mirror is. It is absolutely huge. But over on my side, as I said, it's the exact same on this side. We have a big cupboard. I've actually put in some of my shampoos, conditioners. I have shoes in there just so I can get them out of the way of my bedroom. I have makeup. But as you can see, there's so much space. This is my hand as a comparison. And then you also have a smaller cupboard on this side as well, I've got my hair dryer and makeup wipes in there. And then in this little cabinet, you've got some shelves. So I've got some hair stuff. I've got my bag of earrings, toothbrushes. So there's so much space. And to my right of the sink is the shared toilet area and shower. As I said, I don't have a roommate at the moment to my left of my bedroom. So I have my towel here. And this is my shower. It is massive. I'm not even exaggerating. It is so large. There we go. I've slid that open and we have a shower, which is pretty nice. And you've got loads of shelves too. It's the biggest shower I've probably ever seen. And here we have my room. I still have some things that I wanna do to it, but I am pretty happy with how it has turned out right now. Look at this beautiful tapestry I have right above my bed. I've got some teddies and plushes over there. Yes, that is a stingray and a pan of chocolate. Um, but I wanna put some fairy lights up and I have loads of pictures I need to stick on the wall, but I've not been here very long, so I just need some time. And I do have Christmas cards too. But up here, we have a big fan with a light, which works pretty well. And I have a beautiful room which faces the back of the complex. And you can see the walkway down there. I'll have to go nearer to the window so you can see. Here is a close up of the walkway. That's where cast members walk to and from the community center, to the buses, walk back to their apartments. To be fair, it's quite a quiet bedroom I've experienced so far. So I'm so happy about that. I also just wanna take a second to appreciate the natural light that comes into my room. That's what I wanted and the sun moves around my room throughout the day. So it's perfect for reading and just chilling out. Maybe if I have a later shift in the day, I can just sit in here and hang out. So in each bedroom at Flamingo, as far as I know, in your private room, you get your own table desk and this moves. So it moves with your feet. 
or your hands obviously <laughs> and you can put it over your bed you can use it however you like you can move it around the room it comes with an unfurnished bed it is an xl bed i'm pretty sure in the private bedroom and i'm not sure about the shed but you do also get a chest of drawers as well as well as a big closet it is huge this is how i've decorated my drawers so far i have this badge slash button that i won at traditions then i have another disney thing that i won at traditions i answered a question and mickey mouse gave me this pluto magnet and gave me a hug for the first time since 2019 and i cried my eyes out i have these two pebbles and um, my boyfriend got me one at taylor swift's holiday house in rhode island and then we have one from discovery cove I then have my necklace, my one year service pin, which I'm going to put on my new name tag. And then I also have my old name tags from my Disney experiences. I cannot describe how big this is. It's huge. It's very heavy. My boyfriend got it for me as an early birthday present as I turned 25 in January. And I'm obsessed with it. I cried. I'm so happy. And I have this Stranger Things calendar I'm going to hook onto my wall. I just need some more command hooks. I have an advent calendar from my parents. And then this basket, I fill with things that I might need to take every single day. So right now my um, purse, etc., is in my bag because I've just been to class. However, I put like my glasses case, my purse, my medication, anything I might need goes in this basket. And then every day I check the basket to see what I'll need and to just double check I have everything. So these drawers are super helpful. I'll show you one of them, which has my pajamas in and my shorts. It's great for space. And you've got four drawers and a whole chest of drawers. So that's great. I bought a little bin and a washing basket too from Walmart. And here is my closet. In each private room, you get your own closet and it has sliding mirrored doors so you can slide them across like this. And these are quite new to be honest. Back there, I have my suitcases and things like that. But you also have plenty of space. I'm not kidding, guys. I brought so many clothes. It doesn't even look like that many, but I have them up here too. And of course, all of these drawers are full. And I also have clothes in these drawers, which I'll get to in a moment. As you can see, they are huge. Plenty of space underneath your bed. It's so handy. I have some ears in here at the moment. I've got birthday cards, Christmas cards, command strips. I've got dairy milk. And then I've got some more clothes and my technology in that one too. But as I said, you can put a padlock on them and make them extra secure if you'd like. This is what the room will look like with the lights on. You can't tell the difference really because it's super bright outside anyway. And then you can move the fan from one to three or off. So if I move it to three, this is what it does. It will pick up speed and then it will move the air around your room as any fan works but it's just good to get the air circulating um especially in the floridian heat so yeah this is what my room looks like as a whole as i just showed you bits and pieces it is very spacious i've got a hershey's wrapper there i need to pick up very spacious and i couldn't ask for anything better and i think it's well worth the price of housing i hope you enjoyed that tour of flamingo crossings village west and as I said, East is pretty much the same, but thank you for watching. Make sure you do follow along and subscribe with the rest of my journey. And for now, have a magical day and see you real soon.